This is the Star Wars Rebels, the 3.75 inch fifth fifth brother inquisitor. Inquisitor fifth brother. Anyway, there he is. And here he is with the Grand Inquisitor and Ahsoka Tano, both of which are also figures from the Star Wars Rebels toy line, but they've actually packaged this one in the uh Force Awakens packaging, but it doesn't say Force Awakens simply because it's not part of the movie line, it's the Rebels line. So here we go. So great, great figure. It's a fantastic sculpt with very nice paint apps. The details of the paint apps, there's a little bit of uh, of some paint issues like the red on his armor. Sometimes they misalign the silver, like as, as on my copy, they're misaligned. But great uh, insignia of the Empire, uh, Galactic Empire, whatever. Uh, great paint apps on his hat, kind of looks like um, Embo. Uh, great paint apps on the hilt of the lightsaber. Overall, just fantastic scheme of the paint apps but with just a little bit of issues like i guess see fingerprints on his belt and several of the figures i've seen there's a lot of like somebody touched it too early so great details got these shiny wellington boots uh forearm uh bracelets or gloves whatever you call those uh pauldron the hat the overall armor very very nice uh, looks very similar to the Inquisitor, the Grand Inquisitor, but very nice. So can be frustrating to get a perfect one uh, in box while you're sifting through others. But uh, not a lot of collectors apparently want this particular figure. I think everyone's waiting for the Ninth Sister or Seventh Sister, Ninth Sister. Uh, the one that's voiced by Sarah Michelle Gellar. I think everyone's waiting on that. This one's not bad, actually. Uh, but for the movie collectors, a lot of movie collectors are skipping this figure. I like it. I personally like it. I think Akbar and this one are the ones to get for Wave 1 of the junk, uh, uh, Snow and Des Desert and Snow assortment, uh, 2016 uh, assortment of the figures. So not too bad. So he comes with this trademark Inquisitor lightsaber, the double-bladed lightsaber that spins. It's a little bit smaller now. It's thinner now. Uh, the hilt is different. It's a lot bigger. It's a lot more detailed. But the blade, they've shrunk it. I don't know if that's a good thing. It looks great that it's it's slim, but I would have wished a bigger blade uh, for it. But I do love the hilt. I do love the improvement they, they made on the hilt. So paint apps, okay. Uh, sculpt, great. Articulation, ball joint and neck, swivel shoulders and swivel legs. That, that's it, hips. That's all you get. But I am biased about this figure. I think it's cool. I think it'll be great on your Rebel shelf. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Uh, very close to 10 over 10. Um, but I, I, I do like it. Uh, I think it's something you, it's worth picking up on retail. Uh, but if you can wait for it on clearance, by all means, do so. Now, he comes with the third and last component of this ridiculous backpack uh, from Akbar and from Tasu Leech. So... I'm guessing this one goes right here, as what the instruction says, and it's a pretty badass weapon. I actually like it, uh, but the backpack I think is just crazy. It it kind of looks like one of those things on Centurion's Power Extreme. Wow, that's one badass Inquisitor. Anyway, uh, great great figure. I hope you you know it's it's a fun figure to get. Um, be, look great on your Rebel shelf. Um, some improvements on it not too bad i can't wait for the sister to arrive sister inquisitor to arrive um i hope they it gets here soon that'd be great 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 display pieces so there you go folks uh the star wars rebels uh 3.75 inch fifth brother inquisitor thanks for watching